Hey guys, it's Gamers 90s here and welcome to the second Man of the Match uh, Striker Inner Valencia review. He is an 83 rated striker guys, as you can see he has 89 pace, 83 dribbling, 85 shot, 77 passing and 78 physicality. I picked him up for 21,000 coins, I played 4 games with him, scored 3 goals and managed to get 2 assists. So whether he is worth the pickup or not, we will find out in this review. Moving on to his in-game stats, some of his notable stats are his 81 attack positioning, 90 acceleration, 81 agility, 98 jumping, 87 sprint speed and 80 strength. Moving on to his skill attributes, uh, he has 84 dribbling, 84 curve, 85 finishing, 92 heading accuracy, 83 long shots and 95 shot power. He is 5 foot 9 inch tall, has high low work rates and has the power header trait. So guys, what I liked about this card was his pace and sprint dribbling. As you can see, a nice finish from Valencia there. He has that 85 finishing. He finishes most of his chances, guys, and is really clinical in most situations. And pretty much you can sprint dribble past the entire team, although he has only two star skill moves. Another really powerful shot there. He has a very powerful shot as well, guys. 95 shot power, and you can take some long shots as well if you get lucky. But yeah, guys, um, he he's a really good finisher and is very clinical compared to his previous cards he also has a very powerful shot on him as i mentioned earlier he's also a pretty good passer of the ball guys as you see i dribble past a lot of players here and make a final pass to diego costa who puts in the back of the net he has 80 shot passing guys and 77 passing in his card stats so that those are pretty good stats for a striker as a passer I also found him to be really strong in game guys, 80 strength and he has a good combination of balance, strength and agility all in the 80s and yeah guys uh, he was really uh, you know he was bullying center backs from time to time he was really difficult to stop uh, upon, uh, from the opponents because he has the really good dribbling and with those physical stats combined makes him uh, really strong in game. But the only negative that I noticed with this guy was his positioning guys. I always felt like I had to work him up, up the field because he was never in the perfect position to take shots. But still guys, he is a really, really good card. As you can see in the pros and cons on the screen, he has really good pace. He has a really powerful shot on him and he's really good at finishing as well. He is really strong in game. He has really good dribbling stats and his only con guys was his 81 attack positioning and I, I felt like it kind of reflected in game as well. He didn't feel like he had the best positioning in front of goal and you had to sometimes look for this guy. Where is this guy especially for open net chances. What I would recommend him is to put him with a two striker formation. So you know guys because he's shot as well so you know it's better uh, it worked well for me that way. So guys, he's going to get a final rating of 9 out of 10. It's, he's definitely worth the pickup. So if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.